Today, we're going to build an ATDP using 16 Lego pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. We're going to start to the legs of our walker. And to do that, we're going to begin with a 1x3 plate piece. And in that center stud, I'm going to grab a 1x1 one one plate with a vertical clip and put it so that that clip is facing up. So I put in the center stud facing up like this. Now on the side studs, I'm going to get two of these 1x2 plates with the handle. And I'll put it so that handle is facing down and that top stud goes onto that side stud of my 1x3 plate like this. And this is going to be the legs of our walker. So I'm going to do that to both sides. And then once we have the legs on, we don't want them popping off or moving. So I'm going to get another 1x3 plate piece and just put that one by three plate piece right across the top those top three studs and now those legs are secure and they're not going to go anywhere but i still need to do the feet and to do the feet i'm going to grab one of these one by two plates with the clip on top and i'm going to put that clip onto the handle of my one by two plate over here and i've got the foot to my walker and they they do move which is nice and give some posability and movement to your walker but here are the legs and feet and now we're going to build the top part of our at DP walker and I'm saying ATDP because there are some slight differences that make it an ATDP. Now I'm going to begin with this one by two brick piece with studs on both sides and this is going to be the front so on this top stud I'm going to grab a minifigure neck bracket and put it so where the minifigure's neck would be is going to go on that top stud and it goes down facing forward. It's going to create the um, front of our ATDP walker. Now on the back stud, on the front back stud, I'm going to get a one by one round tile piece and just put that on that back stud and that's going to be kind of like the, the manhole cover or the, the canopy that you open up, the hatch, the hatch that opens up to get in out of our walker. Now on the bottom, I'm going to grab another one of these one by two plates with handle, the same ones I use for my leg. And I'm going to do it so I put it underneath and it goes along the bottom of my one by two brick but the handle sticks out the back. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's where I'm gonna attach it to my legs. Um, but once I've got that handle on, I'm gonna get this one by, well, I'm sorry, one L bar with studs, two studs on one side and one stud on the other. And this is gonna be the cannon, that one can that sticks out the front of the ATDP and really makes it different than the other walkers. And the two studs, I'm gonna hold it vertical and that's gonna go on the bottom front right there where there's that little hole to create the um, hold it in place for the cannon. And now we gotta put the sides on to make it look like an ATDP. And to do that, um, I'm gonna start with this front stud here. And that front stud is going to be a one by one plate piece. And this is where I'm differing from the biggest difference from the Lego advent calendar to kind of make it an ATDP. And I talked about in an earlier video how I was gonna change it up a bit to make it more movie accurate. But here's another one by one plate, put it on that front stud. And the reason I'm using these one by one plates is because if you look at the ATDP, there's like this bubble on the side. Well, that stud is acting as the bubble on the side of the ATDP walker. Now, I still have this one back stud on both sides that's exposed. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two of these two by two corner pieces with the cut corner. And I put it so it's like a kind of like the L shape here and it lines up with my one by one plate. We'll just put it down so it lines up with your one by one plate and it gives us a nice little finished look and gives us that little like part here in the back to give it more of the shape of the ATDP walker. And I'm going to do that to both sides. And once I've got those cut corners on, the two by two cut corner piece, I've got a completed head to my ATDP walker. And all I have to do is attach it to its leg. So it's got that back handle and that top clip put them together and then bend them into position. And here I've got what I believe is a more kind of franchise accurate depiction of the ATDP walker used by the Galactic Empire. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.